The Megan and Harry face chilly coronation reception, but it carries the pen on going. The Sussexes have been told the first reception so chilly, it could probably refreeze the polar ice caps. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been warned they have little choice but to accept King Charles' invitation to next month's coronation because their careers depend on it. The Sussexes have yet to confirm whether they will attend the lavish moment at Westminster Abbey on May 6, even though with less than a month to go, it is now past the cutoff points for the RSVPs. However, journalist Daniela Elsa, writing in the New Zealand Herald, believe the couple will have to accept much, much longer before. Should they attend, the Sussexes face being reminded over and over again of just how far they have fallen in less time than it has taken for Princess Anne to finish that one kind of abuse girl hairspray, she claimed. She continued to say, also, the Duke and Duchess flying in old Charles and Camilla's big day will also represent something of a galling climb down for Harry from his moral high horse after having said he wants his family too. As he told Bryony Gordon, come clean and apologize to Meghan Markle. And yet, the Sussexes need to go to the coronation. Their careers, livelihoods, and ongoing invitations to opera mimosa brunches are entirely depending on public interest in them and that in turn is entirely dependent on the royal status without the titles megan and harry were two people making middling content and middling cvs and a mortgage about as big as a small nation state's gdp mr El miss elsa explained she said so i ask you can they afford to escape any opportunity to top up their royal juju? Can they risk excluding themselves from what could be one of the biggest TV events in history? This is a serious mess territory, and there do not seem to be any good options for anyone involved, not least those headache Freddy Palace staffers trying to walk out the blasted sitting charge. Meghan and Harry face a, a reception from his family so chilly it could probably freeze the polar ice caps, Miss Elsa suggested. She added, being spurned by your brother, your sister-in-law and pretty much everyone aside from an inconsequential cousin or two, with every moment caught on camera for a home viewing delegation sounds about as enjoyable as going to one of the Duchess's, Duchess of York's book readings. Even if they can stomach the monumental cold shuddering, they can, you know, they then face to accept the Billy's path in proceedings. Archie, Meghan and Harry's son, who turns four on the day of the ceremony, has not been invited, Mr. Elsa pointed out, adding a further layer of complications.